This is the same test that was in the series, the Squid Game. Bye-bye, stupid doll. Just look, this is a huge robot coming towards us. Oh, no. This is the same doll. This spider doll really looks very creepy. We've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will run away from Mr. Funny's toy shop. This is a staff room only. It's good that we work in this store. It's pretty dark in here. Let's use our flashlight so we can see what the problem is. Our character heard some steps. <laughs> I hope no one scares us in this room. It looks like we can be calm and move on. Oh, our huge toy has disappeared from the hall. Well, let's go look for him. We opened the door that we couldn't get into in the first place. Well. Let's go there and try to find the toy that is missing. Looks like someone forgot to close the valves and now steam is coming out of the wall. You need to be as careful as possible. Look, there's some kind of thin pipe here. We need to get through it and press the lever to open platforms that will help us come further. We passed this test, now let's move on. We need to climb this ladder to the top and what awaits us ahead? It says that this is the number one fun game. The lights went out again. I don't think this is a very good sign. Well, some kind of labyrinth or something like that awaits us ahead. Let's try to find a way out of this maze as quickly as possible. I hope no one jumps out from around the corner and scares us. Oh my god, it's the same doll. She's running right behind us. Bluey, don't stop. Just run forward and don't be distracted by him. We need to find a way out of this huge labyrinth. This guy really scared me. He runs so creepy. Oh, look. I see red arrows. They point to the exit. Great! We found a way out of this maze. Bye-bye, stupid doll. Now we need to pass another test. Let's see what awaits us ahead. There are some stairs and platforms that we need to jump on. Okay, let's climb to the very top. It seems to me that if we just completed game number one, then there will be other interesting games. On the door at the end of the test, it says fun game two. Well, let's go in and see what kind of game awaits us. Look. This is the same test that was in the series, the Squid Game. You need to go here only when this doll is turned away from you. Well, I think we can handle this easily enough. The main thing is not to move when the light turns red. We just have to wait until he returns from us again. Great! We were able to do it again. Cool. This task was really interesting. I have never seen such tasks in any game where you need to run away from someone. I really like this task. Let's move on to the next room now. There are some lasers here that we need to jump over. Looks like we accidentally hit one of the lasers. It's good that this laser did not cause fatal damage to us, but removed half of our HP. Now we've reached the elevator and let's go up. I think the funny game three is somewhere nearby. Here's a fun game of three. Well, I'm very interested in what kind of tests await us. We have to wait for the next game to start. Let's wait and go inside. Okay, now we can go inside. We need to find a safe place. There are several towers made of cubes. Well, let's try to climb one of these towers. Perhaps we can find a safe place there. We only have five seconds left. We need to survive for 40 seconds. Just look, this is a huge robot coming towards us. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's destroying those towers of blocks. Well, he does it quite slowly. I think surviving for 40 seconds here will be a pretty easy task. Let's wait until he destroys this fortress of cubes and hide in the next one. It seems to me that this guy is just wasting his time trying to break these fortresses because we can move from one fortress to another at any moment convenient for us. Only 10 seconds left. Come on, Bluey. Just hide behind those brick towers. This guy is trying really hard to run to you, but these cubes are constantly getting in his way. Great! We managed to do it. Now, let's go to the exit. I wonder how many games there are in total. So far, we've managed three games without any difficulties. Wow, is this going downhill? He's quite interesting. It has an unusual shape. We're going down a spiral. Well, now we find ourselves in some dark room. It looks like some kind of warehouse. Let's get through it. I hope no one attacks us in this warehouse. There are some shelves with boxes here. Wait, why is it dark around? Oh no, this is the same doll. He turned off the lights to kill us here. We urgently need to find a way out of here. Oh look, there are red arrows. 
We need to run there. There is definitely an exit from this location. Let's quickly go to this envelope tape. I see a ladder! We need to climb it! Let's see what's at the top! It's a loader! But what should we do with it? Wait! Are we going to go through this track on a loader now? Oh my god, this is very cool. We are jumping over a huge abyss with lava on a loader. I've always dreamed of doing this. This is very cool. I love it. Well, let's drive this route. I hope we can get through everything the first time. It is not as easy as it might seem at first glance. There are a lot of turns and jumps on it. The main thing is to press the jump button in time so as not to fall into this abyss. Yes, this route is really quite long. It seems to me that we have never played anything like this before. Of course, in the escapes from various prisons, there were cars or something like that, but we have never had to drive along long routes in a forklift. Great, here's the finish. Well, let's get out of this forklift and up these stairs. It seems to me that at the end of this ladder, the next game number four awaits us. Oh, this reminds me of the Mario game. Well, let's climb into this pipe. Wow, we ended up on some blue platforms. Well, it seems to me that we need to choose the most successful platform and stand on it while the other platforms fall down. Well, it seems to me that we have chosen the most successful platform of all. This is great. We are really very lucky that our platform is not falling down. We are really very lucky. Well, we managed to beat this game with ease. Now let's go where the green arrow shows us. Wow, this is the exit door. Let's see what awaits us behind it. I see some kind of train. Are we really going to take this train to the exit from this location? This is very cool. Hooray, I'm very glad that we're getting through this game pretty quickly. The train has started moving. Well, let's see where it takes us. Oh, I think we got out. Wait, is this some kind of huge slide? I wonder what's at the end of this slide. I hope that the train will not derail and we will reach our destination. I also hope that the end of this game awaits us at the top of this mountain. Oh no! Wait, I think the rails are collapsing. Oh no! We drove off the rails and now the train is collapsing and falling into some kind of giant tunnel. This is really very creepy. It's great that we managed to survive. And now we're heading to the final game. I think that in the final game, the final boss awaits us. Yes, just look, it's a spider robot. Well, let's go down and start fighting him. I hope he doesn't kill us. This spider doll really looks very creepy. Just look how terribly he moves his paws. Each paw has its own HP bar. Well, I think we need to shoot specific paws in order to slow down its movement. This boss actually decreases HP very slowly. We might have to kill him for a really long time. We were able to break one of his paws. This is very cool. Now let's shoot the next one. I think if we can destroy two of his paws, he will not be able to move normally and will begin to lose his balance. He shoots very creepily from his eyes right at us. By the way, there are also purple puddles here that you definitely can't step into because they cause damage to us. Wait, we broke two of his paws. Why does he keep running like he still has all four limbs? I think this is wrong. I wonder if he will continue to run if we break all four of his legs. I think we need to continue shooting at the next paw to find out if this somehow affects its movement. I don't think he even slowed down after losing two of his four legs. This guy is really quite strange. Great, we defeated him. It was quite difficult because it took quite a lot of shots to defeat him. It's good that we managed to cope with this. I really like this game. It's quite complex and creepy. Games like this are rare on Roblox. I completely agree with you. I also really like this game because it has a lot of innovations that were not present in previous games. Now let's move on to the next game. Oh my god, these baboon heads are really quite creepy. Seriously? Is the third stage made into a platformer? Here, the task is very similar to the energy drink race like in Barry's Prison Break. There's a huge gorilla head down there that a huge number of players are fighting against. Hello, everyone, friends. And today, we will run away from the big head of an animal. We've already played Escape from the Big Head, but last time we were escaping from a human head. This time, we are being hunted by some baboon head. Bluey, last time we couldn't get through all the stages. Let's try to complete this game this time. 
I hope we can do this. Oh my god, these baboon heads are really quite creepy. This labyrinth is not as easy as it might seem, but I hope that Bluey will be able to complete everything on the first try. I think I can do it! We have already played Escape from the Big Head, and we already have experience in playing similar games. This means that this time, I can try to beat this game on the first try. I also really hope that you can do this. So far, all the tasks we are faced with are quite easy. This labyrinth is quite interesting, and I really like going through it. I think this first stage is quite long. Last time we went through the first stage much faster. Well, I hope that doesn't mean we won't be able to beat this whole game the first time today. I thought I saw a yellow platform. Yes, that's what she is. Look, this is teleport to the second stage. Cool! We've completed the first stage. Now let's move on. Everything here is wooden. Labyrinth again? Okay, I think it will not be more difficult than the previous maze in which we were in the first stage. It was very light. I hope that the second stage will become a little more difficult for us. I see a save point. Try to get through without falling down. Great, we got there. Well, now let's continue our journey through this labyrinth and see what challenges await us ahead. These Goral heads appear very unexpectedly. They really scare me. This game even looks a little like horror. I really like that this is such a heavy obby. I really love watching Bluey go through obby because she does it like a pro. Yes, I completely agree with you. It's like the YouTube Shores videos of people going through subway surfers or something. These videos really relax me because Bluey really gets through everything on the first try. Yes, I try really hard. I practice a lot in passing games like this. About. There was a similar task in escaping from the big head. I remember that there should be one snag. Look, there she was. Well, maybe there will be deceptions yet to come. There may have been some, but we were able to overcome them. And now we are moving on to the next stage. Seriously? Is the third stage made into a platformer? Well, this looks very cool. It reminds me of the games I played as a child. It especially looks a lot like a Mario game. I was a huge fan of this game because it was a very hardcore game and there were no saves. It only had three lives and you had to go through the entire game with three chances to die. And it reminded me of the game Worm Jim, which I also loved very much as a child. There were such difficult tasks that if they were added to Roblox now, it would be the hardest game in the world. It seems to me that children who play Roblox do not know what truly hardcore games are. I think you're exaggerating a bit. I may not be able to beat a game like Mario the first time, but if you try to go play Tower of Hell, it will definitely take you a huge amount of time to complete this game because it is truly one of the hardest games in the world. Yes. It seems to me that they will never be able to pass the Tower of Hell in their lives. There are no saves there either. But in order to complete the tower, you will need at least a week, because it is a huge tower with very difficult tests. And here is the end of this stage. It's cool that Bluey managed to pass stage three on the first try. Maybe I'm in vain when I say that she won't be able to beat the games of my childhood the first time, because this game was very similar in difficulty to Mario. Now let's concentrate on getting through this stage. I think this stage will be a little more difficult than the previous ones, because the main difficulty here is that there are a lot of moving platforms that we need to jump on. Wow! What's ahead? Rotating platforms on which the heads were burning. Well, this task is really very difficult, but I think that I will also be able to pass it the first time, because I passed the obby which were many times more difficult than this. Yes, those burning eyes on these gorillas really look pretty creepy. I'm very interested in why the creator of this map chose this particular animal as the one who is hunting us. After all, there are really a large number of more terrible animals in the world. Yes, I am also very interested in the answer to this question. It seems to me that if they added the heads of spiders that have a lot of eyes, it would be much scarier than the heads of gorillas, because once as a child, I went to the zoo and saw a gorilla in a cage there. 
She didn't seem scary to me. She was rather cute because she ate bananas very funny and made faces. Yes, I would also like to see some creepier animal here. By the way, look, it's a huge rotating pyramid. I think this is the most difficult platform to overcome in this game, but Bluey handled it like a true professional. I had no doubt that she would be able to pass this. Now we move on to the next stage. Wow, look, here the task is very similar to the energy drink race like in Barry's Prison Break. Well, this test is much more interesting because there are many more obstacles. And here they play very epic music in the background, to which you really want to imagine as if you are a character from some anime and are running at very fast speed, overcoming all your opponents. It's good that these gorillas don't jump when we jump over them. Otherwise, this task would be much more difficult. But nevertheless, Bluey manages to complete the task very skillfully and she really passed all these stages the first time. I'm really amazed at how she can beat this game. And now we move on to the final boss. Just look at this location. There's a huge gorilla head down there that a huge number of players are fighting against. We also have a rocket launcher and now we need to shoot at this gorilla. This boss fires back projectiles that you have to dodge. By the way, one hit on this gorilla causes it only one unit of damage. It's very good that besides us, there are other players here. Otherwise, we would have been fighting against this gorilla for an eternity. Well, let's not stop shooting at her and try to defeat her. It's not in vain that it took us so long to get to this location through all the stages. I hope that we will manage not to die even once during this final boss fight because we haven't died even once before getting here. There are only a few hits left to kill her. Don't stop shooting, Bluey. Great, we killed this huge gorilla and we completed this game completely. I really like this game because it has a huge number of challenges that we have not seen before. Now let's move on to the next game. Well, now we will meet Betty and we will need to run away from her. Do you see this too? It's stuck in the textures. This is the boss cleaner you need to shoot at. His head is shaped like an Easter egg. It's boss Betty. She's wearing a very fun Easter bunny costume. Here we need to kill Easter Robo Betty 9000. Hello everyone, friends. And today, Bingo and I will play Escape from Easter Betty. Hello everyone, friends. I finally got to play with Bluey and today I will try to overtake her. A lot of time has already passed, and it seems to me that I simply won't have time to catch up with Bluey in any of these games. Yes, it seems to me that Bluey has already become a real professional in playing these games. But I think you shouldn't compete. Just try to complete this game together. In this game, you still need to look for Easter eggs. We've only found one so far. Let's try to find all ten, and maybe we'll get some kind of bonus for this. Okay, we have extended the platforms, and now let's go through them for ventilation. I remember that we already played this game. Last time it took us quite a long time, but it was not Easter. And last time Bluey played this game alone, let's try to go through it faster this time than we did last time. One more egg. Cool. We've already found two eggs. Well, now we will meet Betty, and we will need to run away from her. Let's quickly run and press that button. This Betty is pretty fast but I think we can deceive her. Well, here's the button. Now we need to run past her and run through that door. Great girls. I think Bingo's a little behind me. Bingo, what happened? I haven't played this game in a long time and Betty accidentally caught me. Well, I'm a little behind you, but I'll catch up with you soon. Do you see this too? It's stuck in the textures. How did this even happen? It's strange that he doesn't push us out. Okay, let's try to set it up normally. Great. We managed to do it. Now let's build a tower from these cubes on which we will climb up and climb over this fence. By the way, Bingo doesn't waste any time. She's already a little ahead of Bluey. Bluey, did you give her a head start? Mom, you probably forgot that we don't compete. We just go through this game together. I'm not trying to overtake her. I just play this game no matter how long it takes. I'm already at the top. Come on, Bluey, jump into my ventilation and run forward. I don't remember what test awaits us ahead. I'm very interested to see this. Here is the exit from the ventilation. It looks like there's a warehouse ahead of us. Yes, this is it. Well, jump on these cabinets and run to the next location. There you will need to jump on all sorts of pipes. We picked up another egg. Cool. 
Now we have three eggs and out of ten. Well, let's jump through these pipes to the very top. There we will need to jump over lasers. This is a pretty tough task. Yes, I remember this task. We already completed it last time. Well, I hope it won't take us much time. I just need to jump over those lasers and get to that button to open the door. In fact, this is not as difficult a task as you say it is. You just need to jump over those lasers, press the button, and run through the door. I don't think it will take us much time. Hurry up, Bluey. You're already far ahead of me. Maybe you can outrun me even further. Last laser left. Cool! We jumped over it. Now we need to run down these stairs, with the help of which we will go down and go through the door that just opened. I don't remember what awaits us ahead, and I'm very interested to see it. Well, let's go inside and take a look. Oh, here we need to jump over this puddle. And then we will find ourselves in a room with another boss. This is the boss cleaner you need to shoot at. Look, his head is shaped like an Easter egg. He looks very funny. He moves very quickly. He uses up HP very quickly. Look how quickly we killed him. Well, that was a pretty easy boss. Now we've picked up another Easter egg. Let's go to the next room. I'm really excited to see what's in store in the next room. Oh, it's Boss Betty. She's wearing a very fun Easter Bunny costume. She doesn't look as scary in it as she looked before. Well, I remember this level too. Here we need to go through the ventilation, run through the pipe and escape from it. This task is quite easy because Betty moves very slowly. It's very good that Betty doesn't know how to jump into the ventilation because it would be very difficult to escape from her through this thin pipe. This task is quite easy because here you have to run from Betty for very little time. The main thing was not to fall down. And now we will run through this ventilation and find ourselves in the next room. Let's break down this grate and find ourselves in the next room. Wow, it's a huge obby with platforms. I remember this task. This is a very big obby. It's much more difficult than Barry's prison break. Well. I think that we will be able to cope with it on the first try because we often practice passing such games. Don't worry, Mom! We will definitely be able to pass this obby on the first try! I play Barry's Prison Escape every day and I'm already very good at beating games like this! I wouldn't say that this is a very difficult obby because the most difficult obby is the Tower of Hell. Yes, I also remember how I played Tower of Hell. This is the hardest game in Roblox because there are no saves. You need to complete the entire obby on the first try without falling even once. It seems to me that you need to be the most skilled player in Roblox in order to complete the Tower of Hell. But someday, we will definitely do it. Well, we passed this obby and now we are heading through the ventilation to the next location. To be honest, I don't remember what test awaits us. Let's go through all this ventilation and find ourselves in the next location and see what we have to do. Dad, I think you have some problems with the microphone. By the way, look, this is the task with bridges. There are a lot of bridges here. They put as many as six pieces, but I remember for sure that we don't need all six bridges. It will be enough to use only four planks to get to the end. I don't think I'll need four slats. I'm sure I can complete this task with just three. To do this, it is enough to place one bar and then pick it up and rearrange it in front of the next abyss. By the way, yes, you're right. This is a real life hack. I think that with this method, we can complete this game much faster. Hurry up, Bingo. We've already reached the very top. Now we will have a race with fans ahead of us. I remember this task. I really like that they added a fan run to this game because this game really lacks speed. Sometimes it seems that you are going through all these tasks very slowly. But with the help of this task, we can speed up and go through it all quite quickly. By the way, there is another Easter egg. We have already collected six eggs, but it seems to me that we still missed a few. So unfortunately, we won't be able to collect all ten in this game. Well, let's now climb up this wind tunnel and see what task awaits us ahead. It's a shame that there are no lasers in this wind tunnel like in Barry's prison escape. Well, we got to the very top, and now let's go through this door and see what awaits us there. Oh, this is the same task as the energy drink run in Barry's prison escape. Only here, instead of energy drinks, there is milk. By the way, Bluey, I overtook you. Do you see what a trail of fire is following me? 
This milk speeded me up a lot. It's very cool that here they added visual effects and acceleration in the form of a trail of fire. By the way, we completed this task quite quickly and without errors. Now we are heading to the exit. I wonder what awaits us ahead. Will this really be the final boss fight? Yes, here we need to kill Easter Robo Betty 9000. By the way, just look how quickly her HP runs out. Last time we weren't able to kill her as quickly as we did this time. Let's shoot at her nonstop to kill her as quickly as possible. Only a couple of shots left. This Robo Betty really dies very quickly. Well, we were able to defeat her. Cool! We completed this task faster than last time. This is definitely accurate. But unfortunately, we were not able to collect all 10 eggs. Well, let's go to this car that will take us straight to the finish line. I loved going through this game with you, Bluey. It's a pity that we weren't able to collect all 10 eggs, but someday we'll definitely return to this game and try to find everything. Now let's move on to the next game. Oh yeah, let's go, kitten! You're going back to your mom! This is a big beach with dancing kittens. For some reason, we still have one of these kittens in our inventory. Maybe someone can take it from us? Well, it looks like they don't need it and we'll keep it as a keepsake. Wow, this challenge is really quite tough. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will run away from a giant dog head. I don't yet understand our main goal. What do we need to do here? Here, we will need to rescue seven kittens from the prison of these giant heads. They are keeping these kittens locked up and we need to help them get back to their mom. We picked up some kind of purple key. Great, now we will need to open the door with the purple lock and go rescue the first kitten. We're inside, cool. Let's now go through this door and see what awaits us inside. Ooh, that's some kind of giant obby with creepy dog heads. Let's quickly pass it and rise to the very top. These platforms disappear after you step on them, Bluey. Be careful. We need you to go through this location as quickly as possible. Hooray! We're at the top. Let's save this little kitten and take him to his mother. Oh yeah, let's go, kitten! You're going back to your mom! We need to get you back to her. Here, Mrs. Mom, this is your kitten. Aw, oh, she thanks us. This is very nice. Great, we found one kitten. There are still seven left. I hope we can find them all today. Well, let's not waste a minute and go searching. It seems to me that there are still a lot of different doors here. You need to be very careful. Green key! Cool. Now we will get into the green door and we'll be able to free another kitten from prison. Here we need to jump on these bones and get to the cage with the kitten. I will jump very carefully and try not to make unnecessary jumps in order not to fall down. I hope we can pass this obby the first time and return this kitten to its mother. The cage is just around the corner, Bluey. Be careful. Well done, you managed to do it. Now let's take this kitten and return him to his family. The second kitten is here. No need for thanks, Mrs. Kitten. We're just doing our job. Well, two kittens are in place. There are five more left to find. Go, Bluey. Let's free all the kittens from the clutches of these dogs. We need to explore this entire labyrinth in order to find the remaining kittens. Look carefully for different clues. All I can see so far is banana peels on the floor. Another kitten? Let's grab him and run to his mom! A crowd of angry dogs is already running after us. The main thing is to not let them kill us so that we don't lose this kitten. I need to run as fast as possible. We have gone quite deep into this labyrinth. And here comes the mother cat. Another kitten has been saved and we need to move on. The main thing is not to be caught by these dogs so that we don't have to look for all the kittens again. We have gone quite deep into this labyrinth. We urgently need to find some key. Oh, look, it's an orange castle, so the key must be nearby. Look, here he comes. Great. Let's go through the orange door now. What kind of place is it? Here you will need to guess the correct passages. Great. We've passed the first floor, and now let's choose the right path. Bluey, you're so good at guessing the right paths in this game. It's like you've already played it. Do you have superpowers or cheats? I think she's just a pro at getting through these levels. Well, let's try to deal with this quickly and without mistakes to save another kitten. It seems to me that we are already very close. Keep it up, Bluey. You're very cool at doing this. Let's not stop. There's some kind of door there. We need to go through it and we will get further. Okay, you'll have to fall down here too. I hope there won't be any trap there. And here's another kitten. We have already found four kittens and that's more than half. We are doing very well and quickly. We need to continue at the same pace. Maybe we can set a world record for saving kittens? 
This dog walks on its hind legs, otherwise there is nothing surprising here. We do exactly the same. Now let's find another passage and go after the next kitten. I hope we can make it through without dying here. There's some room with a toilet. We definitely need to get into it. I wonder where this toilet will teleport us to. Oh, I think we're inside it. Are we going to have to swim in toilet water? Seriously? Okay, I'll do anything for the kittens. That's very brave, Mom. But I would never reach inside a toilet to save someone in real life. It's very strange that our character has enough oxygen in his lungs to overcome all these undercurrents. Okay, here's another descent into the water. Let's get through this now so we can save the next kitten. We only have three left to find. I think we can definitely do it today. There are real underwater labyrinths here. I wonder if in a real sewer everything works the same way or a little differently. I hope the real sewer is a little different, because otherwise, once you get into it, you won't be able to get out of it. And here is the fifth kitten, Cool. We actually find them quite quickly. Now we will need to pick up this baby and go with him to his mother, after which we must definitely find the remaining two kittens. I wonder where they might be. Well, let's go look for them. I remember that we saw a yellow and purple door along the way. I think we should run in that direction to find them. We have the yellow key, and now let's go to the yellow door. There should definitely be another kitten there. I hope we don't have a very hard obby waiting for us there. Even if it is as difficult as possible, Bluey will definitely cope with it. She's a pro at this. There are no difficult obbies for her in Roblox. She can complete them all. Wow, this challenge is really quite tough. This dog was not even visible. It's good that Bluey managed to react and was able to jump over her. Now let's move on. These stones appear one by one. I need to be as concentrated as possible and react to every stone that appears. Oh great, another kitten. This is already the sixth, and now we're off to take it back to his mom. Only one kitten left to find. Great, we are all one step away from victory in this game. Let's explore this labyrinth as carefully as possible and try to find the last kitten. There must be a blue key around here somewhere. We need to get into the blue door. And here is the blue key. Great, let's take it and run to the blue door. The main thing is that these dogs don't catch us. Cool, we went upstairs and here some kind of white labyrinth awaits us. Wait, is that an invisible wall? And there are traps in this maze. Need to try to be as careful as possible here. There are a lot of traps in this maze. You need to use your intuition as much as possible and try to find the right path. There are a lot of invisible doors here, and they constantly appear right in front of our faces. This is really very disturbing. Last kitten. Great. Come on, buddy. You are coming with us. Wait, why do we have two kittens in our inventory? Perhaps this is some kind of bug. Why is everything so buggy here? We can't get through this door. We are in place. Great. Let's now give the last kitten to mom. Oh, she's teleporting us somewhere. Look, this is a big beach with dancing kittens. We saved them all, and they are very grateful to us. For some reason, we still have one of these kittens in our inventory. Hey, guys, maybe someone can take it from us? Well, it looks like they don't need it, and we'll keep it as a keepsake. I really like this game, and it's cool that we managed to beat it the first time and without dying even once. Now let's move on to the next game. Everything is very beautiful here, but wait, where is the final boss? She has very little HP left. He smiles so funny and runs after us. Let's quickly run away from him. Yes, her belly really looks very funny. Hello everyone, friends, and today you and I will escape from prison Dora the Explorer. Everything is green here. This looks very interesting. It really looks like what we saw in the cartoon. This obby has been slightly modified. It resembles the same obby that was in Mario's prison. Well, this obby is much lighter. Yes, but I hope they don't make things easier here with the bridges. Because of this, we may complete this game too quickly. That would be very cool. I'd like to set a record today. I wonder how long it will take us to complete this map. I hope we can complete it in 550 seconds. Let's really try to get through this quickly. Maybe we can do it in less than 550 seconds. Now we will find ourselves in the room with the first boss. It must be Dora. 
Yes, it's her. Look, she's standing in front. Well, we need to get away from her as quickly as possible. She looks very funny with that belly. She shouldn't be so fat. Yes, her belly really looks very funny. She's trying to catch up with us. But it seems to me that she won't succeed because she's gained so much weight. And now she can't be fast. The main thing is that we managed to break away from him. Well, let's quickly get past this obby and go to the room with the toilets. I wonder if there will be a reward in one of the toilet stalls like there was in one of the previous maps. Well, now we will see it. Oh, there are mushrooms here. Wait, where are the toilet stalls? Wow, they changed this room and there are no toilets anymore. There is a tunnel left here. Well, let's dig it up and go to the obby dungeon. Look, this is a modified obby. It looks like this is the obby, where there are puddles of water on the bridge. Okay, this obby is much simpler than the original one. I completely agree. I can walk through it with my eyes closed. Wait, just look at this bridge. It's very difficult to notice these puddles here. It seems to me that it will be quite difficult for players who came here for the first time to notice them. Okay, look, we're already past this obby. And now we enter a location with a giant rolling boulder. Let's hurry up and get through it quickly. Just look how beautiful the location is here. All the buildings are so colorful. Yes, I also really like how they changed this location. Well, let's come as soon as possible and find ourselves in the room with the boss. I wonder who will be here as the barefoot knight. Hey, buddy, where is your knight's helmet? You don't look like a knight at all. Okay, let's just run around him and quickly move on to the tower with the destroyed stairs. This monkey looks very strange. She's trying to run through the wall after us. Well, let's deceive her. Oh, just look. He smiles so funny and runs after us. Let's quickly run away from him. Great. Now all we have to do is climb these stairs and we'll be on our way to the energy drink challenge. I just can't wait for it. When will they fix this staircase? We've been climbing it for the 20th time and it's still destroyed. I think enough time has passed for it to be repaired. It seems to me that if they fix this staircase, then this mode can be called not escape from prison, but an easy, casual walk from prison. I completely agree with you, Dad. It won't be interesting. Okay, we had an energy drink. Well, let's complete this race as quickly as possible. I really want to set a record in this game. So far, we haven't made a single mistake. It seems to me that this obstacle has become the easiest for us in this entire regime. I just love running around these platforms while drinking an energy drink. This speed is very fast. I wish I could run this fast in real life. The main thing is not to drink energy drinks, because they will make you fart just like the character in the game. You may also have heart problems. Therefore, guys who watch our videos, I advise you not to drink energy drinks. It can harm your health. It's good that we have such smart, understanding children. We don't even need to tell them that drinking energy drinks is harmful. I think we did a great job as parents. And besides the fact that they are smart and understanding, they play games masterfully. It seems to me that Bluey and Bingo can become the best players in Escape from Barry Prison Obby. Okay, we ran across this bridge with a fan. And now we move on to the most boring test in this game, namely the task where you need to turn the valves. I just can't stand him. It seems to me that it would be very cool if this task was forever removed from all games where you need to escape from prison. I totally agree with you, Bluey. This task is the most boring task of all. Great, we have already turned two valves. Now let's quickly head to the third one so we can finish this quickly and move on. I think it's very cool that we didn't choose the hard mode instead of the easy one. Last time we completed these modes on hard difficulty levels very quickly. This made the game quite boring. They also removed some tasks that could really cause difficulties. So I don't understand why they decided to call this mode hard. So it's better to play easy. It takes a little longer but is more fun to play. Well, let's go through this ventilation, and then a race with fans awaits us. This task is really quite interesting because there we also develop quite a lot of speed, just like in the race with energy drinks. I just love this game. I love how its creators change it every time. Yes, I also really like the new design in Barry's Prison Escape. By the way, we have now completed the race with fans. 
Now we need to make a jump in this huge wind tunnel, and we will find ourselves in the dining room where we will meet the next boss. I'm really excited to see the next boss. Let's go down and see who it will be. Oh, it's Dora again. She runs after us with a frying pan. You need to quickly run to the bazooka and kill her with shots to the head. By the way, only 379 seconds passed. We can really set a record now. The main thing is not to miss and hit her right in the head in order to kill her as soon as possible. She has very little HP left. The main thing is to keep shooting and hit her right in the head. Great, I killed her. It was pretty easy. And now we move on. Well, let's quickly slide down this slide and there are only two tests ahead of us before the final boss. We will need to climb the wind tunnel past the lasers and build bridges. I still hope that the bridge mission wasn't removed from this game. I really liked that in the last game there were lasers of a different color and now they are red again. I would really like the creators of MAP to make lasers of different colors in all prison escape modes. This would make the game much more beautiful. Yes, I completely agree that this game should add some bright colors. They just redesign the design of this game, but don't think about the obstacles. I think it wouldn't take much time if they wanted to change them a little. Great! We've reached the bridge challenge! Well, let's use our life hack and beat this game much faster than everyone else. Even less than 500 seconds have passed, and we are almost at the final boss. I think I should hurry up. You're right, Bluey. Let's get through this as quickly as possible to set our record. I hope at least the final boss doesn't freeze. Today, Two of the three bosses we saw were already stuck in the textures. It is very strange. I think this game is a little poorly thought out. And now we will get to the location with the final boss and see him. Everything is very beautiful here. But wait, where is the final boss? Nobody's here. Maybe he hid somewhere. Unfortunately, no. And due to the fact that the final boss is not here, we are not allowed through the door to this car, and we cannot get out of this prison. Is it that the developers of this map did not give us the opportunity to complete this game to the end? This is quite sad, but nevertheless, I really liked the design of this game. And now, let's move on to the next game. Oh, this is a giant robot stitch. Leela as the chef's boss? He has a very large head. No need to aim to hit it right. This is Pink Stitch. Oh, no. She caught us. He is still as slow and leisurely as the other bosses. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Stitch's prison. Just look at this location. She looks really cool. Here, instead of a concrete floor, there is sand and palm trees all around. Just look at this location. She looks really cool. Here, instead of a concrete floor, there is sand and palm trees all around. It looks like this is true. Oh, just look. Challenges have been changed in this game. These new challenges are not a problem for me at all. I've completed tasks more difficult than these. It looks like Bluey is having no difficulties with the new challenging challenges. He's really pro in Obby Prison Break. I had no doubt that he would succeed. Challenge challenges? Dad, it looks like you got very little sleep. You definitely need some rest. You start to get confused in your words. Yes, looks like you're right. Oh, just look at this boss. It's Stitch. It looks just like the real thing. I wonder if they added some kind of superpower to him. No, he is still as slow and leisurely as the other bosses in all prison escape modes. Well, so far, I don't think they made this game more difficult. On the contrary, it even became a little easier. Yes. It also seems to me that they tried to complicate it by coming up with new tests, but they remained as easy as they were. Well, maybe we can set a record this time. You've never lost yet. I will try my best. Oh, just look. This is a room with toilets. Let's quickly dig a tunnel and get into the Abbey Dungeon. I wonder what trials await us there. Yes, I think this mode is absolutely not difficult. Okay, let's see if they added something new and interesting to this Abbey Dungeon. Look, we need to go back to get there. Okay, this is really interesting but they removed a really difficult bridge with half-broken planks. Why did they decide to give it up? It's actually quite strange. I think it would be much more interesting if they left this bridge but made all the boards dilapidated. It would be really difficult to pass. 
But this obby was actually a little more difficult. But we still passed it the first time. Wait, didn't they add any complications to this location? I think it would be possible to make a smaller interval between the rolling balls. That would be really hardcore. Let's climb up these stairs and see what kind of boss awaits us ahead. Oh, I can already see that this is Pink <gasps> Stitch. Wait, did Stitch have a pink girlfriend? Wait, how do we escape from her? Oh no, she caught us. She looks quite beautiful, but it's a shame that we still had to die here once. But it's very strange that they built this level without the possibility of escaping from this wooden bridge. In general, this game is quite easy, except for this moment. But I really need a little variety in it. I really hope that they greatly diversify running with energy drinks. This is our favorite challenge in this game, and I would really like it to be more difficult. Now we will find out. So far, this game doesn't look any more difficult than an easy prison escape mode. Nothing complicated has been added here. Great. We are almost there. Now we'll drink an energy drink and start the race. I really hope that it really has become more difficult. Great. We drank the energy drink and now let's run forward. Wait, the track remained the same. She has all the same tests. Have they seriously not added anything new here? Not this. I really wanted this test to be diversified in some way. It's certainly sad that they didn't add any variety to this challenge, but nevertheless, it brings me just as much pleasure as before. Okay, we're done with him. And now we will go to the test with stairs and ventilation. I hope they didn't make the ceiling higher and we won't have to jump higher. I highly doubt it. It seems to me that the height of the stairs remains the same. Well, let's put it under the ventilation and jump up. They didn't add any complications even here. We've already completed most of the game in 250 seconds. Are we seriously going to beat this game on a more difficult mode faster than on an easier one? Don't rush to conclusions. Maybe they added some complexity to the task with the valves? I think it would be cool if they changed their location to confuse us. This complication would really add a lot of variety to the game. I can already see the first valve, and it looks like their location remains the same. Look, it is very easy to complete. I think it would be better if we chose the normal mode. So far, we have completed this part without a single death. It seems to me that if we played on easy mode, we would have made a mistake at least once. This difficult mode is difficult only for small children. I think we can really set a record today. So far, we are going through this mode without errors. Let's take our time and just go forward. A race with fans awaits us ahead. We only need to overcome this ventilation to get to him. Perhaps they added some complications to running with fans? No, he is the same as before. I think the platforms you need to jump from are even a little longer, which definitely makes this game easier. 325 seconds and we are almost at the finale. This is really a very good indicator. We couldn't achieve this even playing on easy difficulty. And now we need to climb up this ladder and then we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel. The main thing is to press the jump button in time. Cool, you did it. And now we go to the next boss. Leela as the chef's boss? <gasps> of course I didn't expect to see her here, but nevertheless, I'm very glad that she's here. Unfortunately, they didn't change her name. She remained Harry's boss. It seems to me that in this mode, it's even easier to hit him because he has a very large head. No need to aim to hit it right. And he also doesn't have a frying pan that he can use to deflect projectiles straight at you. It was very easy. Well, there are only three tests left. More precisely, two. I can't call this downhill ride a really difficult challenge. Okay. I'm wondering how they'll make this game even more difficult. Wait, is it just me or are we stuck in the ceiling for a second? Okay, okay, never mind. The main thing is that we are just two steps away from the final boss. Let's see how they complicated the laser tests. Did they really add even more lasers? In the last water prison we went through, it was really difficult to pass the tests with lasers because the controls were slightly changed. But it seems to me that in this game, the test with lasers remains the same. Yes, it looks like they really didn't complicate this task at all. Okay, I hope they made the bridge task really harder. Perhaps they removed the life hack with quickly moving all the boards from 
the second floor to the first. Okay, the main thing is not to forget to use our life hack and reset all the boards at once. Let's quickly pass this test and meet the final boss. The main thing in this task is not to rush. Otherwise, you might accidentally drop the board to the very bottom. Don't worry, Mom. I've played this game so many times and I very rarely drop these boards. Great, I placed the last board and now we will meet the final boss. I want to see him soon. Oh, this is a giant robot stitch. Just look at this location. It's full of palm trees and there are buildings all around. It doesn't look like the backyard of a prison. It looks more like some kind of beach or something. Unfortunately, this boss is also stuck in one place. He's just standing there. We shot off one of his hands, but one of his hands got stuck, and now it continuously shoots in a random direction. This looks pretty funny. Well, let's not get distracted by this and just keep shooting. Great! Well done, Bluey! Now let's run to this car as quickly as possible. We finished this game in 500 seconds. Let's quickly move on to the next one. Now let's go to the track and look for other players so we can start interfering with them. Let's wait until she starts coming here and start stopping her. Oh, it looks like she managed without us. The yellow wax crayon is chasing right after us. Oh look, our character did a somersault. Oh my god, an angry red wax pencil is running after us. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the house of the evil crayon. These guys are hunting us. Oh look, for some reason this girl is lying here. Okay, okay, let's not pay attention to her. Let's just go through this task. There is not just ventilation here, but a real labyrinth. Wow, look, we fell out of the ventilation. Some kind of lava obby is waiting for us ahead. It's strange that cardboard boxes and various wooden things float in lava. They were supposed to burn. Okay, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that we passed this obby, and now we move on. Let's see what awaits us ahead. Okay, this is a room with various wax crayons. Now we need to climb into this ventilation and find a way out of it. It seems to me that there are a lot of ventilation in this game. This is already the second ventilation we have entered. I wonder if there will be some kind of ventilation here in which there will be a giant labyrinth. Wait, can you hear those footsteps? Oh my God, an angry red wax pencil is running after us, but we managed to escape from him and he couldn't catch us. Great. Now let's walk across this bridge catcher with wax crayons. These wax crayons are so colorful and beautiful. I really like the way they look. Too bad they're dangerous. I'd like to take a closer look at them. Let's just cross this bridge and head to the next room. I'm very interested in what challenges await us next. Ventilation again? The creators of this game have a great love for ventilation. Well, this is looking more and more like a labyrinth. There are a lot of forks here. I hope we can find the right way out of here, because there are a lot of turns here. And here is the way out! It's cool that we managed not to get lost here even once. And now we're getting to the surface. Look, there is a very thin wooden bridge here. You need to be as careful as possible. Bluey crossed this bridge with ease. She is truly a pro at walking on thin bridges. Now we need to get past this vent and... Oh my god, just look. I see vending. Will they really give us something that will change our speed? Is this an energy wax stick? Oh look, our character did a somersault. Is this an energy pencil run? Wow, I see this for the first time. This looks very cool. It's a lot like the energy drink run in Bar Prison Escape, but here it works a little differently. Wait, have we really just crashed into these colored pencils? Okay, unfortunately, the game did not have time to remove the improvement from the energy pencil. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Now we will pass this test without boost. Oh my God, just look at these red puddles. It looks like some pencil caught up with one of the players and killed him. I hope it's not blood. Wait, are these steps again? Oh my God, a blue wax pencil is running after us. He wants to kill us. Oh, we escaped from him. It was very easy. This guy is pretty slow. Now we're heading back to the ventilation. A test with lasers awaits us. I hope Bluey can pass this test on the first try. It's not that complicated. Bluey coped with even more difficult tasks. Only a few lasers left. Great. We completed this task. 
Wow! Laser plates await us in the next room. Well, I think this task will also not be so difficult, because here it's enough just to jump across the free platforms diagonally. This task also turned out to be very easy for us. I see another interesting challenge ahead of us. There's a lot of lava down there. You need to be as careful as possible. Wow. Here we need to arrange the platforms ourselves. This is very cool. Now we need to build a bridge over which we can cross this abyss with lava. I have never seen such interesting tasks in any game. Wow, we built a bridge and crossed this abyss. Now we need to choose the right path and Bluey managed to choose the right path the first time. I think it would be logical to choose the red platform this time. Yes, we have guessed the correct path again and we are approaching the next room. We are about to descend into the ventilation again. I hope there are no huge labyrinths in this ventilation. We found a way out of here very quickly. I see a long corridor ahead. I think this means that a new wax pencil is coming. Yes, look, the yellow wax crayon is chasing right after us. But he is very slow. He won't be able to catch up with us. Cool, we managed to escape from him. Bye bye, yellow wax pencil. Now we escape into this portal. Where will we end up? Oh my God, is this the end of the game? Did we really finish it that quickly? I think we went through it too quickly. Let's take advantage of the boosts and try to start stopping other players from completing this game. I think we need to take the train and increase our speed to 150. Great. I think this option will suit us. Now let's go to the track and look for other players so we can start interfering with them. I found a bug with which we can get inside. To do this, we need to push ourselves through the textures using our trail. I need to make a little more effort to get inside the location. Great. We managed to get inside this location. Now let's start stopping these players from completing this game. Let's barricade this exit with our train so that these players cannot get inside this room. They somehow managed to get inside. Well, I'm not ready to give up. I will interfere with them until the last moment until they fall down. I think this is the best place to start disturbing them. Let's choose the most convenient position where we will block their path. I think this is a great place. Let's wait until she starts coming here and start stopping her. Oh, it looks like she managed without us. Well, it was quite a fun and interesting game, but it's a shame that it turned out to be so short. Now let's move on to the next game. Maybe it will be longer than this? This is just one of them. We need to run there. Oh no, Big Head caught us. This head is very gigantic. We need to get around it somehow. There is a head that has arms and legs. She looks pretty weird. There is a huge labyrinth with different heads. Look, there are three heads in a row. We Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the big head. Are we finally going to escape from prison? This is very cool. In fact, lately, I've been a little tired of these Barry prison escapes. Those big heads are so creepy. Oh, look, there's some kind of red staircase there. We probably need to climb up it. You're good at Bluey. Let's find a way out of here as soon as possible. The main thing is to avoid these giant heads. This is just one of them. We need to run there. Oh no, Big Head caught us, so now we'll be more careful. Well, now we know how these big heads move, and now let's try to go through this again. This labyrinth is so big! Oh no, another giant head. She's chasing us. Let's quickly find a way out of here. I think we need to run to those red steps again. And here they are. Now the main thing is to overcome all these big heads and... Yes, we're back on those steps. Now you need to find the right path to the save point. It seems to me that we have chosen the right path and now let's try not to get caught by these huge heads. We need to be as careful as possible. Giant head, we need to run it away. Oh look, I see steps. I think there should definitely be a save point there. This head is very gigantic. We need to get around it somehow. And it seems to me that the arrow is pointing us to the right path. You need to go down these steps and run there. Save point. Great. Now we don't have to be afraid of losing. There are three heads there. The main thing now is to walk this path very carefully and not get caught by them. I ran past them like a real pro. I really like this game because you have to be constantly on your guard. These heads can always catch me. Red steps and save point again. Well, that was pretty easy. Now we need to climb these long stairs and get to the very top. We almost fell down here. It was quite dangerous. Cool. We've passed the first stage. 
Now we move on to the second! Here we need to be as careful as possible because here we need to choose the right door. I think we guessed the right door on the first try and now let's find a way out of here. Labyrinths with doors are very difficult because here a head can suddenly appear around the corner and attack you. You need to go through this entire location as carefully as possible and not rush too much. Perhaps this head is hidden in the passage we need and no look, there is a save in this room. This head looks very funny. Well, we need to run around it and run further. Let's quickly find the next save because it's quite dangerous here. Okay, let's run into this passage and... Yes, we found another save. Wow, some super long arrows. You need to be as careful as possible. Wow, this is quite difficult. Look, there is another arrow there, but it seems to me that this is a scam. We need to go into the corridor in which there is no arrow. This room definitely needs to have a save. Wow, this is great. In general, I really like the fact that there is a save here, because if they weren't there, we would have to go through all these locations again. It would be quite long and almost impossible. Yes, I completely agree. If there weren't saves here, we wouldn't be able to get through this. Okay, let's not walk on this long stick, but try to walk on these small platforms because the head can come on this board and kill us. But here it's better to walk along this long board because your head is now occupied with something else. Ow! She fell down. Well, I see a star ahead. Let's take it. This means that we are now moving to the third. In the third stage, there is a huge labyrinth with different heads. Well, I think we will be able to pass it the first time. We are already quite skilled and know how to get past them. Look, there are three heads in a row. I think we can run around them from the side. Great, we did it. Now let's run to those red steps. Look, there is a head that has arms and legs. She looks pretty weird. You managed to get through this quite easily. Ow! This head wants to catch us. Don't let her do this. Cool. We ran past it. Now let's quickly find a save point somewhere. We just found it. And now in front of us is a huge room with three black panels and a huge number of different heads. But we escaped from them quite easily. In general, it seems to me that this stage is one of the easiest because we have never died yet. Save point again. Great. Now let's come through the colorful labyrinth. I hope that we will be able to run past all the giant heads and they won't catch us. So far, you're doing great. I hope that you will be able to pass this entire test without a single death. Cool, I see another save. Look, here is a room with a huge number of black panels. I hope that we can get through it without getting caught by any heads. I think this is the most difficult test in the entire stage. In any case, Bluey completed this task quite easily. And now we move on to stage number four. Cool. Let's get to it quickly. 